people, you know, and then I feel the present and I get up and when I look around, you know, see it, but it's like this thing where we was drinking it creeping up. So I just feel no when I just find myself on top of shit and we start to get out a proposal and thing. Let's say dear viewers and subscribers, welcome to the video again. Welcome to part two of this man named Ralston. He's on the run, he's wanted. And by next week going forward, you will see him on the wanted man list officially. All right. So this man is from a Westmoreland address. He goes by the name of Raleigh. You understand? Rally rape a 20 year old British girl and he's on the run. And he sent these voice notes to the family telling them that he's asking for forgiveness and he's sorry. And if they can drop the case, he's in his late 50s or should I say early 50s to be correct. But anyway, nevertheless, um, put a like on the video, leave a comment, like this video, guys. Get it to 2,000 like. We need it to reach as much people. Too much of our young ladies, them, I get um, R.A.P.E. from them, big money on a disguise. So, we are expose them little by little, all right? So, make we listen to the voice note where this man sent to the family. I want to be judge. Yes, this is how, how this thing started. We were at the house. So when they came, I take the vehicle, went up my phone, come back at the time I on the phone with you and run up from get some guy bring back and then she said she wanna to go to the market to get something. So I told her at the time the market closed so we could get it up town. You know, so I come back and bring back the guy them to from. After we go down the Kenfield, come back and then she said, if me can, me, you can get off the for the charger, get her a charger or something. So she, when we reached down there, she didn't have any cash. So she said she had her card, but she couldn't get the internet to load it. Cash never loaded, so we went up to Harare and get some internet there. Went back down to the machine. She get our fifteen hundred dollars, and then we walk, go buy the charger, and then we say we gotta leave. So she said, "Oh, she would want to play some pool." So we went over the pool bar, went round at the back where the most table is. So when we went there, now she stand up there, but the guy then we are playing all day is some professional, so. Same time the girl, the girl look cross now and the girl see her and they both, they're talking so I might tell them say you know this guy we are playing professional and whatsoever so same time we say we're gonna get something to drink so we say you know we're gonna drink a dragon so we both went up to the bar and next her now she gonna drink she said oh she not gonna drink nothing like that she gonna drink the Cernophyce and Red Bull. You know, so I said, all right then. Things have a Cernophyce and Red Bull. Let's go. And we st right at the bar, the girl gave, gave me some ice and things. So she opened the back of the Cernophyce and she poured it and drink. And then take a drink out of it. Then we were there and then she took up the background, walk across and we come across so the guy them play the pool. So same time my brother pop up there and then another guy them when we didn't notice we come cut some kin. So me and them did the attack and we did the a drink and she did a drink the external face and she pour out another flask, get some ice. We were drinking till the girl was there as well and them did their talk and she watched most of the time she watch a pool game because she more interested in the pool. So she was in the pool game and then after that she go across and the seat sit down. Right at the bar and still a focus on the pool game and thing. 
then she end up and come back across and she and the girl there. So, but they there, because most of my time I just did they talk to the guy, the man, what time I got to pick them up and whatsoever. So, they both there drinking. So, same time, because them did not drink rum. They was drinking rum there. Mm -hmm. So, I did it now and then. The girl said, if you don't drink anything more, so I turned to her and said, no, no, I'm not going to drink nothing more because I kind of feel like a tipsy, like, you know, because, you know, I'm not really, I drink one, 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 one jug and I want two. But, you know, sometimes when you drink those drinks, you drink it, you know, and then it creep up on you. You know, so I never feel, I never feel like I couldn't drink anything more, so I didn't know what I said, you know, I look at the time. And I said, we are going to leave. But at the same time, the girl turned and I said, she did have a drive. But the drive never come for her if she drop her home. So I tell her, I said, she did have to ask she, you know, if I could have drop her up. You know, if she agreed for me, just drop her up. When she got drop her off a fair yard and go up. And at the same time, when we are going to leave, she said, if, me come, if, if she would have want to come back at the bar, I said, no, it, you know, I better go home now. So we went. <coughs> And drop off a girl and thing before we even leave the leave the bar she the girl walk off and then she did stop with some other girl. Where them that play them they right at the pool bar, them was drinking as well too. So she was there and thing. Cause only thing I remember when we had drink there and the girl go for one Kingston, one one of the same flowers of Kingston there and ask her if she want. She drink, but we know she drink out of the Kingston. You know, and then we did it and said, Oh, that's it. When everything finish, we can go. You know. So I'm gonna leave, me leave right there, so just for a minute and go over the other side and come back there. Come they go talk to one guy right at the other bar and then we come back there. Not too far where you can see. So when we didn't know she had talked to the other girl, them I think them had done some exchange on but at three of them was there. And said that we said, you know, we're ready and then we start we leave out and walk go over because the vehicle was parked over Josie Beef. So the three of us walk over there. Then we leave and jump off the girl, she and the girl talk. We don't know what they was talking about. But they there and do a little hug and thing and then we leave, go up. So when we leave, go up now. When we go up now, we never, we never feel so so good, you know. So I try to make some soup. And same time, she says she walk them. We can hot up some. Yeah, so I put both of them in the microwave. And we sit down there and drink. And at the same time, she says she want to go lie down. So she went in the, the dining, you know. And same time, Biggie daughter, she was in there, and both of them lay down on the bed. And then me finish my soap and head out, because I never feel so good in myself. So I just head out and go in on the bed, you know. Not really I check the time, but I know say, the time we reach up there when we leave off at 11, I go to 12, you know. Then we come back, then me lie down on the bed. From there, I don't know if she, she, I think she went, must went to the bathroom. So that's why when she coming back from the bathroom, she end up in the room, you know. And then I feel the present and I get up and when I look around, you know, see, but it's like this thing where I was drinking, it creeping up. So I just feel no when I just find myself on top of she and we start to get out a proposal and thing, you know. And even when me did it, I wonder what, what, what the hell is wrong, you know, you know. And then, I remember when she get up now and then, I think she headed back to the bathroom, but when I get up now, I head out now and look and try to go to the bathroom when I realize that she end up in the, in the room and I go in and I just open the door and try to you know because I hear the talking so I just try to see what's going on and then 
I realize uh, but I never really know what really going on in there. I never really know what she say. So I go in there to adjust things, but it never get that far because, you know, her mom did kind of, you know, when she hear, she gets so, so I just there standing and the same time I go and things just get out of proposal right in the room, so. I, I know I'm sorry for what, what I have done, you know, because I should be the one to protect her. And I asked in she for apology and forgive me, you know, because I know, you know, when, when a person is, you know, things done and you get traumatized, you know, you know, it's hard, it's, it's so hard, you know. So I ask in forgiveness from she and her mom because, you know, I don't know if even when she was there with the girl, if God she bring fear Kingston from over the other side. I think she did have it on a different table and she bring it weird. So I don't know if, if she do any tampering or not, but I know just that what I did because I, I don't really drink even strongly kind of, you know, like that, you know. So when I started and I don't pour anything, yeah, and she can tell you, and that's how everything go because it's not did a planting where did in my mind, but I so sorry I get you mess up call it because it shouldn't be. And I just asking you, please, from the bottom of my heart, if you can forgive me. Please, I asking you and your mom. Please, it's you. And I know I done something so wrong. So I just asking you, please. Because even from that time, I know the feelings and how I let down all of you to it. So I just ask him, please, please, if you can forgive me, this is coming from the bottom of my heart. And if I get this chance, I will hold on my head like a stick. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't look over it. I know I done something wrong. So I just asking you and asking your mom because you are so good to me and even Alan and Jane and, and Roland, please forgive me. I just asking you, please, I'm begging you. This is coming from the bottom of my heart. I don't know. I know I wrong. So please call it, it's just you. I know how, it, how the feelings is. If you even want me to come in front of you and stop and beg you, I will. But I know I should dare to make sure everything okay with you. You know, and you know, I would never think of, I would never think of to put something to like jokes to hurt you but i know i just get that carry away you know and i just ask him please please if you can forgive me please i'm asking you do know Cause you, you are so good. You are so good to me. You are so. So I just asking you. I apologize to know I get to this level. I can't keep up. Can't keep up for this. Yeah, if one time when when me turn, cause we turn our focus to talk to the guy, then but them. They right cross from the ways. And I remember one night time the girl walked up to me and he said, if you have any change, 
And I said, no, I'm not going to change. And he said, oh, like you don't want to change to buy some like weed or something. And I said, no, I don't have any change. And then she walked back. So I don't know if, so I would have to ask she, no, if she and she, if she didn't even get no weed pertaining, you know, but, you know, sometimes when you focus on something else and they are there to talk, you know, and they really want to hear what they have to say. So, I would have to ask her if he did get enough that, but just carried my part, you know. And I'm so sorry if you know what the level where me go with our with your colleague. So I so sorry. And please, please if you can forgive me. I'm not not the person this moment. I should be, but please I'm asking you. I'm just taking this from the bottom of my heart. So if you can accept my apology. So sorry it reached this level. Please, I'm asking you, please. <sighs> I don't know how. How. But when you're wrong, you cannot get right. I know I wrong. I wrong with you. Please, I'm asking you. Yes, because everything what go down, I be the one to blame because I should not ever think of driving out that night. I should just forget about it. So I'm so sorry about all what happened. You know, and I just ask in you, please, please forgive. Please forgive me. Because I should be the one make everything just just forget about it and just stay you know even if you even say that happened and I know you know things gotta move on that time I just I shouldn't be out just call it a deal and just stay home please if you all can forgive me I'm begging you, and this is for your college. Please, I'm asking you. Please, I know, you know, get things messed up. So I just asking you, from even from that time out, do I feel just so low down? And you are the one who lifted me up. I don't know what next to do. Mm, we are called about never here. Come and speak to mine this morning. Mm, so she does say she wants to just try up something before she go. Let me speak to a police down there because my friends and the police lady have the did get their their report. I you know, it so what he was saying like oh she the go down there and sort out it if she could not go down there and just even talk to them in other way they are decided to drop it. You know. Because once may go so once may go there, you know, they gotta push it more further because you know that gotta be extension you know there are be hold on and all kind of question and all kind of things so it gotta lead up to a different thing you know you know how jamaica run already so you know say if you put a report down there you would have to come and go down there and say boy you know you gotta drop it because you know you know but a prolong with it you know so i don't know i'm a beggar please she could not do that, you know. Apologize. That will not the next move to make. I tell her, I don't, I don't know the better way to put it. Because only this way, bloody. I mean, I, you know, makes sense. Me lie on it. But there's no say. Me, me no say, boy, I may 
shouldn't even even go to level calm. I just know that boy I'm not strong. If you know that boy I'm get messed up on him, but I'm just sorry. If you know that he just got away, really. believe me. Because I don't know I go with intention, but you know, when you run, you can't write. You see it. But just like how I tell you, believe me. I don't know a better way to put it. Come here, tell us about two hours before. I just got the boat. That's the time when she come. As I said, she like she had, she had to leave her room and I come back. And I saw she end up there. So, you know, see it. Well, you know, young man, so we just get carried away. You know, see it. So, I just that. And I say, immediately then, and after me done, me just move on to the south, believe me, blood. And if you notice, we come here, remember, you know, at 12 o'clock, we come, when we reach here, not to 12. And that take place about, if you know, like about 2 30, 3 o'clock, somewhere there, so. Never really look on the time. But just know if it just know say boy just something that really and you know just sorry if you could have forgiven me. You know, cause you know me hurt everybody, same way. Just done. We are calling but never hear. Come and speak to mine this morning. So she just said she want to just try wrap up something before she go. Let me speak to a police down there because my friends and the police lady have the did get their their report. You know, see it so what he was saying like oh she the go down there and sort out it if she could have go down there and just even talk to them in other way, they are the self drop it. You know. Because once may go so once may go there, you know, they gotta push it more further because you know that gotta be an extension, you know, they're gonna be hold on and all kind of question and all kind of things, so it gotta lead up to a different thing. You know, you know how Jamaica run already. So, you know, say if you put a report down there, you don't have to come and go down there and say, boy, you know, you have to drop it because, you know, you know, I'm about to prolong with it, you know. So, I don't know. I'm a beggar, please. She could not do that, you know. Apologize. That will know the next move to make. Yes, this is how, how this thing started. We were at the house, so when they came, I take the vehicle, went up my phone, come back at the time I on the phone with you, and run up from get some guy bring back, and then she said she want to go to the market to get something, so I told her at the time the market closed, so we could get it uptown. So there you have it, guys. So it's just for this man for turning himself and pay the penalty for this this is a real life confession you understand I'm, the family trusted this man that are the thing guys trust nobody you understand trust nobody too much is going on in jamaica and we need justice when you see the, when you see the news yesterday hmm? with the other one or oh, indeed with that. Or oh, indeed with the people in Pitney, guys. Leave a comment and put a like. Justice for a woman of Jamaica. Peace. I'm out.